We are presenting our technique for Osgood Schlatter ossicle excision for the treatment of adult onset Osgood Schlatter. These are our disclosures. We are presenting the case of a 43-year-old male patient with chronic left knee pain at the site of a non-united Osgood Schlatter ossicle proximal to his tibial tubercle. He has failed conservative therapy. MRI confirmed a large non-united ossicle at the distal aspect of the patellar tendon with surrounding edema. The patient has been indicated for adult onset Osgood Schlatter. He has had symptomatic knee pain and stiffness for longer than 10 years. Kneeling causes significant pain for the patient, which is required for their job. He has tenderness on direct palpation of the tibial tubercle. The patient is induced with general anesthesia and placed in a supine position with all bony prominences well padded. A diagnostic knee arthroscopy and arthroscopic debridement are carried out using two inferior portals. The extensive synovitis in the superior gutter, suprapatellar pouch, and inferior patellar space is debrided. The scarred and thickened pseudocapsule and large plica is debrided. The open portion of this procedure begins with a 7 mm incision made directly over the palpable Oscar Schlatter ossicle, and the dissection is carried down to the patellar tendon with a 15 blade and a bovie. The peritinon is incised using metabomb scissors and flaps of the peritinon are elevated for later repair. The patellar tendon is then incised in a longitudinal fashion over the Osgood Schlatter ossicle using a 15 blade. The ossicle is identified and sharply dissected out of the patellar tendon using a combination of sharp dissection and metabomb scissors with care taken to preserve the patellar tendon at all times. Remaining calcific portions of the tendon insertion are also debrided using a ranger. A 1.5 cm by 2 cm Oscar Schlatter ossicle is removed. A high speed burr is used to create a good bed of bleeding bone at the proximal aspect of the tibial tubercle for repair of the tendon. Two Arthrex fiber tape sutures are used in horizontal mattress fashion to repair the patellar tendon side to side. Two Arthrex 4.75 mm peak swivel lock anchors are then placed into the bed of the bleeding bone using two sutures to repair the central aspect of the tendon back down to the tibial tubercle. Skin and subcutaneous tissues are closed in routine fashion. This patellar incision is copiously irrigated and closed in a layered fashion using 2O monocryl and 3O monocryl subcuticular sutures. The portal incision are closed using a 3O monocryl subcuticular suture. The patient is toe-touch weight-bearing for two weeks after surgery. A hinged knee brace is worn for two weeks with knee range of motion set to between 0 and 45 degrees of knee flexion. A standard post-operative knee arthroscopy physical therapy protocol is prescribed. Post-operative lateral knee x-ray confirms successful excision of the OSD ossicle. Return to full activity is expected three months post-operatively.